Hello, welcome back to Double Engine Nerfer. So today I'll be reviewing the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Igniter. Let's go over this thing from front to back. No insect barrel lug, two rival style rails, 30 to 60 round hopper, safety lock is pushed that way, which means it's unlocked. Pushing it in means it's locked. Push back the other way, it means it's unlocked. It's got a very stiff Tipo Prime, more stiff than the Darzon Max Solo one. It's got a chunky grip like the Nerf Rival Knockout because of the plunger tube. Shoots pretty far. Can't see where it's going, but I know it's shooting far. I've seen where the second one fired. It's shooting about 70 to 80 feet. This thing is awesome, though. I like this. Very cool. It's what's supposed to release next year? in spring released early but yeah that's the firing demo it feeds down through here into the barrel after you t-pull it to load it it's very that prime is stiff i still got some gel rounds i'm almost out gotta push that down make sure it's closed and make sure it's empty It's got a lot of power. So yeah, it's about what I expected. It's empty now, okay. It's about what I expected from it to be a powerful gel blaster jolt. So, what are my final thoughts on the Nerf Pro Gel Fire Igniter? Well, it's very cool, has some tech coolness to it. It has a very cool looking front muzzle tip on it. I love how it's a T-pole. Throwback to the Jolt. This is a throwback to the Nerf Zombie for the Nerf Jolt. And the Nerf Zombie Strike Jolt, of course, which I have the Zombie Strike version. But this is going to be my go-to gel blaster sidearm. Now all I need is them to make a holster for this and that would be awesome so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe, and subscribe and i rate this a 10 out of 10 this is amazing and double punch proner for out peace